الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله knowing our place with regards to knowledge is very important and to go beyond that go beyond the bounds is very serious and this is why ilm is ibadah or this is due to the fact that ilm is ibadah that knowledge is worship if the person seeking knowledge had sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they have ikhlas lillah they're doing it to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and if they're seeking knowledge of kitab wa sunnah and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran warns of a, a serious punishment for the one who speaks without knowledge. So if a person pretends to have knowledge or goes beyond the bounds and it's consistent, we're not saying they make a mistake. Well, all of us make mistakes. Sometimes we speak when we shouldn't speak. Sometimes we speak excessively about something and it opens more opportunities to make mistakes. But if someone is granted something from Fiqh Fiddin and they speak to the extent of their level, as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Balaga Anni Walo Ayah, narrate upon me, even if it's an ayah, even if it's one verse. So if a person is sticking with that, that qa'ida, that principle, but not going beyond, not trying to explain it if they haven't studied it, not trying to go beyond it if they don't have the ability to do so, then they have safety. But the one who speaks beyond, and that's why it's serious for the talib al-ilm, especially even the scholars, to know they're a level, not everyone's on the same level. And the Prophet Sallallahu said, May yurid Allahu bihi khayran yafaqawfiddin. Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives him understanding of the religion. So fiqh fiddin is a sign that Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala loves that individual, that they have some fiqh, some wisdom. And the fiqh and wisdom is not just memorizing, but it's knowing, it's having hikmah, knowing when and how to apply the book and the sunnah. Knowing the various situations and how to make it applicable throughout all time. That takes ilm, that takes hikmah, that takes wisdom. And the Prophet والسلام, also mentioned that the one who speaks and lies about him, especially the one intentionally, that they will take their seat in the hellfire. So that's why it's important for us, again, the importance of knowledge and the importance of speaking with that you have knowledge about. Because in this age where we are surrounded by uh, people through the internet, through various platforms and social media who speak about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's religion with no soul, no foundation, no scholarship, no experience from sitting with Ahl al-Ilm, then this leads to fitna, disaster and chaos 
And those people don't even realize that a lot of that will come back to them. A lot of that will be things that they will feel the reper repercussions of. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with ilm al-nafiya. Wa rizqin tayyibah. Wa amalan mutaqabbilan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.